Hi, I'm Greg. And I'm Tracy. We're Freeman the Wrong too. Join us this week as we continue back from the west, heading to the east. Mm -hmm. side of Interstate 64 just got into Illinois and we had a tire blowout. No warning whatsoever, just blew. Tire pressures were all good. Tire pressures were all good the same. I don't know. Tore the whole fender off. Well now let's get this changed. While roadside assistance was an option for us, Greg decided that it would be best to just change it himself and get us off the road. We did use a tire assist, but needed to use the bottle jack from the truck as well.
just disintegrated and blew. Had no warning, nothing, nothing whatsoever. Luckily, we were able to get over, get it changed. But by the way, my little tire eight assist jack you pull up on ramp wasn't tall enough to change the tire. So I got to find something better for that. But I had to use an extra little bottle jack to help get the tire up enough to get it off the road to get it to where we were. So, like I also stated, look at the video. Someone told me on a, one of the groups on Facebook for campers that when you have a tire shred, check the tire right next to it for a slow leak. So last night, exactly what I did, found pieces of steel out of the other tire and slapping that tire apparently and it stabbed the wall of it. So when I pulled out a piece, put some soapy water, it had enough leak, I could tell it was leaking. So that was tire number two. So while I was there, I had all four. I went in one by one to a local store. Thank goodness there was a local in Mount Vernon, Illinois at uh, Archway Park, Archway Camp. That was a good campsite, by the way. It was really nice. Uh, I changed all four. So we have four brand new tires making our way back. Heading south on 57 right now. Trying to get to Kentucky for our next stop. Just part of it. That's why everyone says it's not it's not if, it's when. Luckily we're able to get off the road. We were safe. And we continue with some little bit of damage you can tell from the video and what the damage we got can be fixed, I believe. So we'll keep pressing. Cypress Lakes. I don't know. Tired. Cypress Lake RV Resort in Calvert City, Kentucky. There you go. Sounds right. <laughs> We're here. Spot 23. Four new tires. Do I trust them? Nah, probably not. That's right. Right rear seems to have about three or four more pounds of PSI when you're up on the road with the sensors. So I don't know. It's the weight, how this thing is sitting in here with the kitchen back here and just the weight distribution we don't have a lot of stuff in there but the kitchen is on this side anyway we didn't go but 120 miles we're in kentucky it's a nice campground do a little video on the way in probably try to do a little more if i can i might fly a drone today i've been working on tires for the last two days so ain't have much time but we're here It just takes effort, that's all I can say. But this is our spot. Pool's closed, all the stuff going on in the world. Um, it's getting redone, rebuilt. Has a lake back here you can fish at. When the things fully open back up, they'll have the pool going. It's like a pretty nice park right here, right off of 24, dead and south.
We're almost to our next destination. Follow along, see where we go. See you on the road. Bye. Hi, I'm Greg. And I'm Tracy. We're afraid of the wrong. I was going to say it again. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I thought you said it.